My name is Fahad. I'm the ICRC's legal advisor to the African Union. Um, on any given day, I advise the Peace and Security Department of the African Union on international humanitarian law. Um, my hobby is to drive motorcycles. That's something that I do uh, with great passion. And I have motorcycle in two continents, one in Asia, where I come from, and one in Africa, which is more of a, um, a dirt bike. But that's what I really enjoy doing these days. I think one of the things uh, which really inspired me was um, the work that uh, Kirk does uh, on hostage negotiation. That's clearly something which is out of my comfort zone. It's not something that I've done in the past. And so it was a great learning experience for me to, to see how practitioners in the field engage in that field and, and what are some of the tricks of the trade that we can pick up in case we are ever, um, um, ever, ever presented with such a situation. Absolutely, I remember it very, very well. Uh, I was a young uh, delegate with the ICRC and I had to negotiate access to a place of detention. Um, I, was, um, I, I was trained to speak, I'm a lawyer, but uh, it's a completely different skill set where you have to convince um, someone who may or may not be ready to even listen to you. So it's a very, very tricky situation. Uh, however, I think it went really well and we were able to get access to the place of detention, but I can tell you I was extremely nervous. Absolutely. I think I was just thrown into the deep end of the pool uh, to, to fend for myself, to learn how to, uh, how, to, how to find my way around it. Now I think with about five years at the CCHN, I've been a member of the community, um, I've really learned how to structure a negotiation. I've really learned the science behind it. And so it's not only just an art, but it's a demystified science, which anyone who doesn't have a lot of experience can pick up the manual and, and, and learn with friends and colleagues how to structure the negotiation. So I wish uh, that when I first started, I had these tools at my disposal. Often in a negotiation, you have to be extremely careful of what you can reveal and what you can't reveal, um, how much to to discuss and, and where to stop and pause and where to reflect and I think the legal skill set gives you some uh, training but uh, that being said some of the negotiators the best negotiators I've met are people from the front line are people who've had no formal education many times but they seem to have a way of communicating their intention and they have a way of standing in the feet of their counterpart and thinking from their perspective and I think these are the people who are able to really find value uh, and, and to negotiate a good outcome for both the parties. Patience is definitely one of them. Um, the second one is persistence. I think you have to be persistent. And the third one is preparation. My sense is that every new opportunity presents a new challenge and you need to speak to people uh, from those areas and from those um, 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 contexts to really get a sense of how you need to make your pitch and how you need to negotiate. Some time ago, I had a negotiation where uh, we were negotiating access to an um, IDP camp. And uh, over there, I sat down with my team uh, for about two days. Um, and we used the stakeholder mapping tool to see who are the people that we needed to influence to gain access to that. After the two days, I realized that my team team managed to understand how these tools could be very useful to frame a negotiation and, and, and how it could benefit us. Uh, the outcome wasn't very good, but at least uh, we knew that the method and the purpose worked. I think it's very, very important given the, the stressful situations that we find ourselves in. Um, the way I do it, I, I come from a country which practices yoga. So that's something that uh, I've been doing for a very, very long time. It allows me to breathe and, and go into a safe space uh, when I need to. Um, the second thing is regular exercise. Given the stresses that we faced with COVID and with uh, now with the stressful environment we find ourselves in. So I regularly go to the swimming pool and to the gym and, and just try to 
to beat the stress out, uh, but you know it affects you every now and then. So I think it's very important for negotiators to be able to speak to people, um, to be able to vent some of the built up frustration, but it's also to keep themselves physically and mentally fit. just like to say that uh, keep doing the good work that you're doing um, and, and, and know that there are people out there to support you. All you need to do is reach out and uh, we're very happy to share whatever um, uh, experience we have. Uh, but it's great to be a member of this community.